Wait, what? Oh no. Rap fire TV. Now we all know Lil King has been around for net since he was 10 years old. He's almost 12 now, and it's time for change. And we all know Lil King's mom had got in trouble with the law after she attacked her own mother, King's grandma. So King definitely needs a man figure around. Finesse has stepped up since he got out of jail and took King under his wing, paying $5,000 a month just for homeschool. But that's enough. Finesse is snatching him out of homeschool in order to keep King on the right track. King going back to school, y'all. King finna go back to school. King been home school. King been with me a year and a half. How long King been with us? A year and five months. year and five months, you count that was it. Alright. So long as you been with me, you've been home school. You take your 15, 30 minute breaks. Shit like that. And then go back to school. Yeah. Look at me when I'm talking to you. So, you know that this is going to be a big transition for you, don't you? I know how real school is. How real is school? Real? It started like, I just like the times. I'm just, I'm just like this. What? Man, what time about five in the morning. Them just ain't dead. You do know why it's hard for you to wake up, don't you? King be lit, that's why. You know why, but you know why. So, so it, so you know Miss Joyce, Miss Joyce finna put you on a very strict schedule. Some day, and she hit me. So everything that she doing, I'm telling her to do it. I ain't just letting her, you know what I'm saying? But if you've been with me long enough, it's time you, you've been on tour, we done had fun, we done had a ball, we done been in every city, every state. You done made money, you done met people, you done you didn't meet everybody you ever thought you wouldn't meet, probably. And I feel like now it's time for you to really focus on what you want to be in life. Besides a rapper. Besides being in the phone. Besides playing the game all day. I, I want you to focus. You 11, you can be 12. You becoming a young man. You are already a young man, bro. Yeah. And, you know, I ain't got dealing with me. Dealing, dealing with his mom. So you my dealer. And I let you do whatever you want to do. Cause you my little man. But at this point, it's time for me to take action because if I don't, if I don't, if I don't lead you down the right road, I ain't gonna be able to live with it. I don't want you to get 14, 15, 16, and put put the police on high speed chase because that's all you know. I don't want you to get 14, 15, 16, and smoke weed and shit because that's all you've been around. I don't want you to get 14, 15, 16 and have a child like I did. It's time for you to start respecting yourself more. It's time for you to, and me too. It ain't just you, it's me too. It's me too, so we can doing this shit together. I've been out two years, you've been with me a year and a half through it. I went through trials and tribulations, it hurt. I still go through it. 
And like I said, I'm having this conversation with you in front of the world because I want them to know how smart you is. Now that's 100 for this. We're going to go through this shit together. But it's really time for you to really buckle down in life. Just like it's time for me to buckle down in life. We all fuck up. We all fall off. And I want you to know that I don't expect you to be perfect. I don't expect you to transition. Because you got to understand, when you go to school, everybody finna know you. I put you in a small school where it ain't no public school. You probably got like 100 kids that go there. Maybe. A king in a private school? Probably like 10 people. You're not in the class with a lot of people. You're in the class so the teacher can focus on you. On, on more, do more focus on you versus 20 kids or 16 kids. No jury is school. So don't sneak your, your jury, don't sneak your watch, don't sneak your chain to school. Don't sneak your phone to school. You and Kaylee going to the same school. Kaylee gonna be allowed to have her phone. Why you think I'm allowing Kaylee to have her phone and not you? She more smarter than me? She more disciplined than you. You know what discipline mean? What discipline mean? If you don't know, don't say you know it. Just ask me what it means, I'm gonna tell you. I know what it means. What it means. She ain't grow up like, say what? Compared to script. They didn't let her do no anything. Discipline, I'm gonna give you a deeper definition of discipline. Discipline is when she can go to school and not pull her phone out unless it's an emergency. Discipline is when what you gonna be doing. I'm gonna give you your routine. This gonna be Monday through Friday. Check me out. Monday through Friday. You gonna get up five, six in the morning because y'all gotta drive 40 minutes, 50 minutes to get to Houston. You gonna go to school. No phone. Look at King face. Check me out though. You give me two, three months. I give about two months. I start letting you take your phone to school once or twice out the week. You fuck up. I'm taking it again. Alright. By the time you make it home. It'd be 5 o'clock, 4.45, 5 o'clock. I had a long talk with Miss George, and we put this together. I'll come straight home, get yourself cleaned up, do your homework. Now, check this out. I ain't just no doing no homework and then going to your regular activity. You're going to do the homework, and whatever adult available, me, Lil Jew, Sugar, Big Jew, whoever, I want you, Joyce, you take your homework to them. And you're gonna get it right before you jump into your activities. Now you see what I'm you see what I'm going with about the transition? You in the sixth grade. You a king in math. Your English is poor. And it's all right. I'm poor in certain areas. I ain't judging you. I'm just telling you that it's time for you to really buckle down. Now, I ain't saying go off and grow up and be to college and all that old. I ain't. That ain't where I'm going with it. Because I believe in being your own boss. I believe in going to school, learning how to read, write, spell, do math. You're going to decide to take something up in college, take up business management. So you can learn business. Financial literature. 
Meaning, how to talk numbers. Well, motherfucker can't talk over your head. The words they use when they talking big numbers and shit. Cause you won't be rich, right? The only way you're gonna get rich is you know this shit, man. You got to know this shit. You can't don't think you just gonna get rich and stay rich. You can go get 30, 40 million dollars today. If you ain't got financial literature, if you ain't got good money management, if you don't know how to save, if you don't know how to budget, if you want to pop it every day and go out and drink every day and buy jewelry all the time and buy cars all the time, you're going to go broke. And you're going to be back in the hood. It's real. It's not a game. It's real. Like you will literally go broke. You will literally lose it all. And you don't learn. So me, as a father figure to you, I gotta go ahead and install that in you now. See, I ain't had this. Little Miss George right there. I ain't had this. Did nobody do this to me? You see what I'm saying? But you got me. But you got to understand that. I ain't being hard on you for nothing. I want to see you do better than me, bro. Now that's keeping it 1,000. I can't let you go down that road, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you come home and you do your homework and it's done right, see, that's what's going to make you focus. You're gonna be ready to get to that game. You're gonna be ready to get to that phone. The other kids, they gotta lay it down at eight. You and Kaylee, I'm gonna get y'all at nine. Nine thirty. But see, this is the thing with the nine nine thirty though. At the nine nine thirty, everything go off. The TV, the phone, ain't no YouTube TV, ain't no straight dog. Straight sleep. So you can wake up, have a fresh brain for school the next day. What's on your mind? Talk to me. You ready? What do you think? What do you think you're gonna go wrong with? What do you think? What do you think that maybe you might think that you might have a hard a hard time with? Going to sleep. You take melatonin? But see, this is the thing. Do what you got to understand. Um, this is the thing. This is what you got to understand. The faster you can learn and finish your homework the right way, the quicker you can get to your activity. The more to sleep, we'll work on it. They will start. I'm gonna lie to you, George. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna holler for them to come here. Okay. You use the him? Yeah. Oh, about the same thing. Yeah, we have now talk. Oh. Hey! Run upstairs and get them right quick, please. Get them real quick. Come on, I ain't through. I'm gonna say this though. You ain't got to come down and stir like that. See how nice I mama she came down and stir. Came down and stir like you 300 pounds. You weigh 70 pounds. What's up? 
Miss Joy needs some help. She got a lot of stuff in the home. Might be. King ain't got no friends his own age. Set that mind free. It's all good. It's all good. Let him live a child's life before it's too late. You gotta put this shit in your mind. You can't just say, I gotta do this. You gotta wanna do it. Can't just say, oh my God, do this, or I ain't gonna, oh my, if I don't do this, I ain't gonna get my, he gotta be like, nah, no, I'm finna do this shit. I'll get the phone later. Like, I need to focus. Let me just do my homework, not to get to my game or get to my phone or get to my activities, but let me do my homework and really learn it right here and right here. Sometimes when you read, you gotta read it again. Long story short, bro. For real, for real. It's finna get hard for you, bro. Your life finna transition. That's why I ain't been having you on social media like that and doing that, cause I've been getting you ready. Like, transition. It's time for you to go to school. It's time for you to get your discipline level up. It's time for you to go hard. Talk to me. See how you feel while you while you going along. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you wanna learn? Yeah. Do you wanna be a better person? Yeah. Do you really, really wanna learn? Do you really, really wanna be a better person? What things that you wanna do different? trying to hear none of this. Finesse could be having this conversation a little too late. King been wilding now, allegedly, since he been a toddler. Everything. 
you on the phone in group checks with two, three, four little boys or two, three, four grown men, this shit over with. It's over with. I listen to your phone conversation. Everybody from the hood, from Murder Street, and grown ass men, you 11 years old talking to niggas 30. You talking to niggas older than me. And they telling you everything that's going on in the hood. Who put the police on the high speed chase? Who got caught with switches? Who did this? Who telling? Who this? Who did? Who this? Who that? And you ain't doing me for real. Damn, he bullshit. Oh, they hit the spot. Oh, they, that shit over. With. It's over. With. All them grown ass men that you were able to fuck out of two, three hundred out of cash shop and all this shit over. With. What? No, I don't even ask nobody for my daddy for money. Bro, you manipulate, you manipulate everybody you talk to for some money, bro. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Sometimes. Bro, bro I get DMs with folks telling me that you, you, you borrowed a thousand dollars from them and they gave it back. See, that bro, I don't know about that. Bro, don't lie, bro. I'm telling you the problem. Bro, you lying, bro. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Don't they mind be manipulating folks out their money on their phone, bro? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You good? Big Rudy, send me 400. Gang. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> Don't even need me. No, just, just want to have that show's pop. <laughs> just want to pop. <laughs> it they send it. Listen. Oh. Them days old we can back to the city and shit. Miss Joy. Miss Joy, come here real quick. You know she gonna tell you the truth. Cause she wish she be around me. Them conversations he be having on the phone from the boy. What it be about? Too much. That he should switches. Yeah. Bitches, who getting taller, oh, who pregnant, who 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 house got shot up. Who don't have a place to say this a whole conversation that was going on yesterday about somebody who was at Oregon talking about bitch you ain't even got a place to say lay your head and all this. You laugh, about. come on. Come on, come on. You laugh with that shit all with. Come on. Huh? You laugh, come on. I know what you're talking about. See what I'm saying? There wasn't nobody around to know my blood sister. But why is you asking me that type of conversation with her? Well, she asked me a personal question. That wasn't even about that. So but she was talking to somebody else. She was arguing with somebody else, right? She was arguing with my other sister, and she asked me a personal question. I ain't gonna say it when it's like, it's two police. But she asked me a question, and I said, yeah, and I agree with it, and it was true. But do you feel like at 11 years old that you should be indulging in them type of conversation? How are your sister? Mm -hmm. Nice. Why is you indulging in a grown woman conversation? She asked me a personal question. All right. right you finna learn today. No, ma'am. That don't go upstairs. There's certain things that she don't even need to ask you. It's certain hey, shit that man. you shouldn't even answer. Go to your response need to be. I ain't gonna lie, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But if it ain't helping me, if you ain't hurt, if you ain't bleeding, if you ain't, ain't nobody harmed you. They will fight. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know what they fighting for. I know. But what could you, you know, do? What was you Did it have a real purpose? Yeah. A real life threatening purpose. I was lost. Some money. That you ain't got nothing to do with. Know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to do with what they are for. You ain't got nothing to do with what they fighting for. You ain't. So you got to start telling your peers, the people that you talk to, the grown family members. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know that. If you can't teach me something, I really ain't even trying to be on the phone with y'all. Focus.
focus mean that you only worried about what you got going on. You putting all your attention, everything that you do into what you got going on. You ain't worrying about what big you doing, you ain't worried about what little you is cool to see it, to hear it. But man, I ain't worried about that. I'm trying to learn this right here. I can't get over this math problem. This math problem fucking with me. And y'all going back upstairs. I can't pass this test. I need to be focused on trying to pass this test. I need to be focused on this math problem. I don't want to hear about y'all fight. I'm glad you're straight though. You ain't gotta be mean. I'm glad y'all straight though, but I don't want to hear about this fight. That's what I mean by your transition finna get hard. You think I've been hard on you, I'm finna get hard up on you. And I got somebody to help me. But you know why we're doing it, right? No, you don't know? Yeah, hey, finna see. You don't have no clue. You can be nonchalant. Yeah, hey, finna no see. And you know I know you know, right? Cause we ain't had a conversation before, right? Because why? Want well, what? Better for who? And because I what? What y'all coming down here for? Right there, right there. Oh, because I want the baby to get in this kitchen and help. I'm gonna have to talk about it now. Give me a few minutes. Okay, go back upstairs. Anything It's okay say. to be a kid, bro. That's because we love you and we care about you. And we want better for you. We don't want you to experience the things that we had to experience or go through. Right now, I'm the thing you should be focusing on is going to school, having fun, kicking it with your little friends, or hanging oh, out. Friend? You ain't got to have no friends. Listen, you can listen. This is what I'm saying. Associates. Let this, me say that. This is what I'm gonna say. This this right here. You lack being around kids. Because you indulge in so much grown folk shit. I'm sending you to school because I feel like you need to be around more activities. Mm -hmm. Football. I've been asking to do this though. Been asking to do what? Go to school. But you don't want to go. I asked this last day. No, you didn't. When this nigga said, I don't want to do anything. Call him. I want, I want, I want to stay on, I want to stay at home. Like, stay, only, reason why I stay, home. only reason why I stayed in Nashville. Only reason why I stayed in Nashville because the times, it was cool. All right, well, 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 well fuck this, scratch this. Fuck, 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 well, what you been saying you want to do. Now you finna do it. See what I'm saying? You finna do it. You say you want to do it, now you finna do it. And you're gonna get into some type of activity. I know you might be too short to play basketball and oh, shit. Bullshit. Man, he shot them over there, nigga, too late. Yeah, but they have them little bitty motherfuckers be the coldest ones out there. You know how to play basketball? Don't, Don't start applauding for this live, bro. Like the little AAU teams and stuff like that, they be the little, little bitty motherfuckers. You be like, God damn. I just feel like you need to be around more kids, bro. What, what you 
mistake when I said this. How did you feel Definitely needs to be disciplined. 
maybe even put them in sports, extracurricular activities. But it sounds like Finesse has everything under control. Comment below, let me know what you think about this. Was Finesse right? This is crazy. You know, like, share, and subscribe to the best damn channel on YouTube is Rap Fire TV. <laughs> ah.